Welcome lords and ladies to the Florida Renaissance Festival. My name is Jackie, you're watching Super Enthused, and today I'll be your host as we travel back in time to the 16th century for food, fun, and awesome historical garb. Ready to do a little time traveling? One of the first encampments when you enter the Renaissance Festival is the Ottoman Embassy. It's beautifully appointed and staffed by characters from the Ottoman Empire who are happy to talk to you about the time period and about their encampment. It's always a lovely stop in. And one of my favorite spots is the decadent pile of pillows with residents of the Ottoman Empire. I am Daria Hatun. I am a Hatun, which means I'm one of the ladies of the harem. I am also a lady of the harem, but I also specialize as a mistress of the mystic arts. Ooh. Everyone else doesn't believe in the magic as much as I do. So I try to advise the Sultana with some of the magical wisdom that I possess in years of study through my family history. I bring gifts for the children that come to visit. Well, how about like welcome. magic stones. <gasps> to oh bless goodness. them as they travel, and then magic genie dust to <gasps> grant them one wish that their hearts desire. So what if I'm a child at heart? If you're a child at heart, then I could also grant you with the magic dust of the jinn. I would love that. you one wish. Yes. Well then, what I shall have you do is, okay. I want you to close your eyes, my dear, focus on one wish that is your heart's desire. One focus wish on that heart's wish. desire. But let it go from your mind. Now you may open your eyes. Now you are marked with the magic dust of the jinn, and the jinn shall follow you throughout your journey and grant you your wish. It may be today, tomorrow, next, only the jinn knows this one. It will, the jinn will indeed follow you and grant you your wish on this day. Here we have the kamikaze fireflies performing. A lot of wind. <laughs> If you enjoy a lot of character interaction and games and interactive stuff going on, the Kegsworthy Promenade is the way to go. There are booths on either side with characters of the fair in them with games and interaction of various sorts. You can have all sorts of fun in the promenade, listen to jokes, just make sure you bring some cash for tips. Here we've got some Renaissance characters. Oh, that looks good. Looks like they've got some brie. You never know when you'll find a 16th century picnic happening. There are two different food areas. This is the first one you'll encounter if you go to the right when you enter the Renaissance Festival. And this has typical fair food and some cool unique things like gator on a stick, po'boys, shrimp and chips, crab cakes, some very like Florida delicious things, some English things as well. They're actually delicious. I went with the most basic boring option, a cheeseburger and crinkle fries or ribbon fries. Make sure you call them the right thing. I just wanted to keep it simple and have something quick and easy. Many of the games and activities require cash. They're cash only, but fear not good people because there are ATM machines at your disposal. Most of the food vendors do accept cards at this point, but the games and beer and things of that nature require cash. Also tipping requires cash and we recommend that you tip heartily. If you're interested in psychic readings and tarot readings, there's a tent for that as well. Some mystical energy happening here. Good day. Fairy photo bomb. The Goodnight Pub stage is my favorite place because this is where the final pub sing of the night happens. There are tents scattered throughout the Renaissance Festival with amazing performers. And you're gonna wanna be here for that pub sing, the final pub sing of the evening. And if you don't know the song, here's a help. Here's a help to the company. Look it up online and learn it so you can sing along because it's so, so fun. Earlier I mentioned there were two food areas. This is the second food area and it's across from the Goodnight Pub stage and the Goodnight Pub where you can purchase beer and in front of that you can purchase water and soda. There's also a restroom pavilion here 
and other various food offerings, including Dole Whip. That is right, Dole Whip. For my vegan friends out there, I always have to mention that there are indeed vegan options at the Florida Renaissance Festival to be had. Probably more than this, but at the very least, this. And it's delicious. One of my favorite parts of the Renaissance Festival are the historical encampments. This one is the Hanseatic League, and I pay a visit every year. There's detailed signage explaining the meaning of the encampment and what is going on here. It looks like we have members of the royal court here, so let's be appropriately respectful to them. I am Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor and King of Spain. King of many places, really. Thank you, my lady. And uh, we are here in the village of Cakesworthy to give it our patronage and protection. That is correct. So pay your proper respects. And you're here with your royal court? Absolutely. The ladies of the court, uh, my knight, uh, Hobbin, my Chamberlain. You don't get this kind of access to royalty people easily, so no, true take advantage. Truly, take truly advantage. Is, you come out to Kegsworthy. Uh, uh, quite true. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. It smells like delicious burning fire, so cooking was definitely happening here and will happen again later. Behind this facade of a pirate ship is another encampment. There's a sign here indicating the Silk Road, 120 BCE through 1450 CE, where we know much trade took place and blending of cultures. But I started with a piece that thick. See how it's thinning out and getting longer? Mm -hmm. it smells so good, burning fire. It, it definitely has a distinctive smell, right? Yeah. So here's the piece right there. Oh. Remove the coal. So you just burn so you it in the coals it. in there. Yep, I just heat it up. And then you hammer it into shape. Yep. So is this blacksmithing? Yes. Blacksmithing, very good. I knew that. Are you doing that. video or? I'm doing video. Hi! This is for YouTube! Hello! <laughs> Hello world! <laughs> and yes, we're probably going to get a bunch of comments from other blacksmiths going, He's not doing it right! Oh, so do you want to clarify anything for them just in case? No, they're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Guys, this is Renfest. Come on. Give That's the man right. a break. <laughs> We're just learning. Nope. That's right. <laughs> Look at that. So pliable once it's all yep. hot and, and toasty. And I want to give a shout out to some good people. Black Bear Forge has a good channel on YouTube. Awesome. Chandler Dickinson has a great channel on YouTube. Yeah. Alex Steele. So if you're interested in blacksmithing, I highly recommend checking out those channels. Uh, I do not have a channel of my own. Do you have a website or? No, I, I'm just getting started. I forgot. Uh, eventually, I'll have like a little Etsy store or something. Yeah, and stuff. Okay, okay. So. What's your name? My name's Paul. All right, Paul. Awesome. Thank you. That's that's sure. some good, uh, helpful info for people interested in blacksmithing. Indeed. Do you make these? Yes, I'm in the process right now. This is what we call stick weaving. Stick weaving. What I'm doing is those were done with. Thank you. Thank you. So My much. pleasure. Was that was done with even sticks, so it would look flat. Oh, okay, right. It has a flat look, right. If I do it with odd number, it's going to be circular. Oh, okay. And all you do, that's all you do. You feed on things to make music. Shut up. Oh, that's so cool. So it's kind of the opposite of using the sticks to pull through right. you. And what you can do is... Use the sticks um, as a base. With this, you could sew it together and you can make a blanket, a shawl, or a throw. Oh, that's great. That's knitted. Okay. And I have knitting going over there. Mm. This again, I can sew, sew together and I have a blanket. Yeah. Or um, a throw or a cover. So soft. Mm -hmm. What kind of, uh, is it wool or? Yes. Wool. Feels wonderful. Oh, woodworking. Creating a wood block. Oh. We're creating, I'm going to uh, eventually put paint over this. Oh. With a rolling brush. Uh -huh. And then put a piece of parchment paper over it and create a stamp. Oh, wonderful. Wood block print. So the gloves are to protect your hands from the sharp instruments I'm using to carve the wood. It's very smart. Very smart. I have a small bowl to catch my wood shavings. Oh. If I get enough, I'll give them to the uh, blacksmith to start his next fire. Oh, wonderful. So everything is used, everything is shared, nothing is wasted. What are you working on over there? Is that needlepoint? This is something called a cruel. Cruel has been around since approximately 500 AD. And it is wool on lid. Oh. 
It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Oh, you're quite welcome. Did you know that the bio tapestry is actually not a tapestry? It is a piece of embroidery. I did not. Yeah. It's interesting. Thank you. Thank you again. Good day. This is my first season here at the Florida Renaissance Festival. A new show. Well, I hope we have a long and happy relationship. Uh, my friends, uh, my name is Paolo Garbanzo. I'm actually the jester. I'm a juggler and actual international tour guide. Ooh. Now my friends, this is your basic single flip knife juggling pattern. Each knife spins one time, but now I would do something twice as hard as single flips. Could anybody guess what it could possibly be? Double, Double flips. Whoever just said triple, stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the washing well wenches, a beloved performing duo at the Renfest. Louder you are. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most popular shows at the Florida Renaissance Festival is the Washing Well Wenches. You have to make time to sit through at least one of their sets during your visit, or at least part of the set. Try to stay dry. At this point in the day, I've done a little bit of walking around, and I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm gonna have a beer and listen to Celtic Mayhem for a little bit. It's the high heat of the afternoon, the beer line is long, everybody's thirsty, including me. Look at them, look at them. Barrel of Monks is a new brewery offering beer this year. I got the single in the sun, and it is delicious. Thank you, huzzah. I think I found the perfect place to sit down and have my beer. Very appropriate, I would say. Are you bending the knee yet? Ah, kettle corn. One of the best smells in the universe. Argue with me in the comments below. There's a haunted graveyard you can enter for $5 for adults and $2 for children. I see my name up there. It's not spelled the way I spell it, but I think that means I gotta do it. Here we go. Okay, don't fall. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrified. Renaissance ghost stories. The princes in the tower are said to haunt the Tower of London. It is said that the ghost of Anne Boleyn also haunts the Tower of London. Okay, guys. Oh. Oh. Someone's gonna pop out at some point. I just did it! Keep it together. There's nothing, nothing coming this way. Definitely, nope, nope. No. No, 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 a lamb, a plague of both your houses. Are you done? Let me have my moment. Okay. Thus, okay. thus. <laughs> are, you, are you done now? Thus one. Thank you guys so much. Once again, I'm Karen Oz. And I am Halbert. And together we are the Miss Adventurers. Thank you guys so much. I finally oh, found my phone. He needs to kiss my hand. I've been looking for you guys all day. Where, 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 where are we? Are you all day. purposely leaving me? No, never. no, never. never. You, are, you shall join our house. You should join our house. I'm posse now. Oh, oh yes, in our house. What role could I have? Can we see we'll watch all your talents. Are you a seamstress? A cook, I think that she would be a good recorder. A recorder. She a recorder. A recorder. She can record. Well, right now, 
Wait, 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 wait
only seen that's the first time that's ever happened to me <laughs> that's, I, I've, I've never, never seen that before me, ever. personally mm -hmm. right. so that's I mean time again good. can we get these disinfected by the way when we go <laughs> lords and ladies all rise for their majesties King Charles V and Queen Isabel. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. God save the king. God save the king. God save the queen. God save the queen. Sing it with us. Come lift up your voices in chorus. Here's a help to the company and one to my. Drink and be merry, all grief to refrain, for we may and might never all meet here Festival. I get a season pass every year. They do have sales on Black Friday, Cyber Monday around that time, so keep an eye out for them. There's so much to do, you can't do it all in one day. And that's why I get a season pass to come back again and again. But if you can only come once, you'll still have a great time and it's fun for all ages. I highly recommend it to anyone. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this trip to the 16th century. I hope you had a great time. I know. I did. So I will see you guys for the next adventure, and until then, you know what to do. Fare thee well, and stay enthused. Stay enthused! Fare thee well, lords and ladies. Fare thee well, lords and ladies. And stay enthused. Stay enthused. Harmony.